if not the best offensive line in the country. So, how much do you talk to them about, you know, getting through holes quicker, or you know, what you guys can do to work together to, to you know, make those running plays go from two yards to three or three to four or whatever it takes to get that next extra yard or two? Uh, I mean, we're always just, you know, telling each other to go harder. You know, I mean. Ideally, everybody's going 150 percent, but you know you always try to get that 200, you know, as much as you can out of them. So they solve this Northwestern puzzle. They win. How, how do you beat Northwestern? How do you do it? Iowa hasn't been able to do it lately. I haven't done it, so I wouldn't know. I mean, ideally, I mean, just go out there and play harder than they are. You know, just make more plays and put more points on the board. How do you go about flushing the Penn State loss, and making sure that? Penn State uh, doesn't beat you twice, so to speak. I say you just got to get it out of your mind. You know? I mean, it leaves a bad taste, and you know, we have to let it motivate you and feel you to practice harder and play harder. This, this game, so. Saturday, you guys were able to get Brad back. How does he change what you guys want to do offensively? How does he benefit you as a running back as far as what he provides in the field? Um, I mean, he's a great running back. He's he gives, gives me a break on third downs. You know, he'll come in sometimes and he'll block in situations. Gives me a break a little bit, so it's definitely nice. You had a conversation with Coach last year about whether you were going to redshirt or not. What was it like? Uh, was it short? Did, you obviously wanted to play probably, and I, met, and I think they wanted you to play. Yeah, I mean, when I got hurt, you know, everybody was telling me that, you know, I should probably redshirt, but in the back of my mind, I didn't a red shirt and it never really crossed my mind. I mean, coach came in to me and says, you know, it was my decision and I told him I wanted to play. So. Mm -hmm. Does, you know, you look at a guy like Hanzeri, I'm sure he's, he had a little tougher decision because I don't think it was automatic that he would play, uh, but but he's offered a role. Um, what, what's it like for him? Uh, I mean, it's pretty much the same thing. I mean, different circumstances, but I mean, he's basically our number two, number three guy right now. So, I mean, he's going to get playing time. It's just, not if it's more win. It uh, you, you obviously have no regrets because you walked in and you contributed. I mean, definitely anything I can do to help the team win, and I mean that's what fueled my decision to try to come back. How long did it take you to say yes? Was it before you locked, before you left the room? Oh, I mean, before you even got the question, that was enough.